farm hands farm brief here welcome back uh, to the Phoenix 700 we're gonna build uh, the stand for the 700 today um, we're gonna be, end up we're gonna build it out of lumber um, we end up going with this design um, I talked with my engineer friends architects and I'm gonna be using wood I'm not gonna use steel uh, wood if you check out the engineering on each uh, stud it can hold up to the pounds that we need so I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna end up cutting all this lumber up how we're gonna make everything fit and then we're going to put the stand all together. I'm going to pre-cut everything uh, with my saws here, and then we're going to assemble it all together. All right. All right. So I got this four by four beam. So this is the piece that we're going to cut up. I need eight pieces at 36 inches long because my tank I want it to be 36 inches. I'm a tall person. I'm six two, and I don't want to be bending over. I want my tank to be in front of me. So let's cut this up to uh, 36 inches, and we need eight of them. All right. Place that. All right, so we got we got one cut up. So I got to do seven more of those, and then uh, we'll keep going from there, guys. And then with, with these eight, we end up we're gonna notch these out. We're gonna notch these out, and then that's where the next piece is gonna sit in, and we're gonna leg those together. Alright, so we have uh, the eight 36 inch pieces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to notch these all out so the rest of the, the, the forms can all go together. So let's move on to that. Alright guys, so right now we have our 36 inch pieces. We have eight of them. So what we need to do now, and I grab my plan here we came up with, is I have to cut down seven and a half inches. It's going to fit a two by eight, but they're not a two, two by eight, so you got to do uh, seven and a half. And then the thickness of them is inch and a half. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut out this material and then we're gonna cut out the material on the side. And then that's how we're gonna leg both them all together. So what's gonna happen is that two by eight is gonna rest on this notch. So all the pressure will end up being on uh, on this beam. So that's what'll take all the bearing load. All right, so let's mark this all out and then we're gonna cut it up. To do an inch and a half cut in here and then we'll notch this out so we have notches down inch and a half like that and then we have to bring back the blade and we got to cut out this material And then you get the special notch right here. So the two by sixes will sit right on there and give it that support. Do the other side. like that and then you get those special notches put the set the beams right on top all right so we got all the pieces cut as you guys can see all the notches so the studs will end up uh, lining up on here and carry that that load so let's go in the house right now and we'll put this all together all the weight will be on this 4x4 on the beam so I pre-drilled holes so it won't split through and then before we do it I'm just I have some uh, PL glue adhesive that we're gonna put on here this is just give, give it a little extra bond. 
So I'm just gonna see, put the PL glue on there. So it's gonna help bond. And then we'll place this in here. So I always wanna make sure whoop, we square it up. It always wanna be level plumb square. As you guys can see, all sides are touching. So we're all squared up. Right, so I got my leg bolts, I got my interval impact. So I just threw a little bit of glue in the, the pre-drilled holes. So it'll give it a little extra adhesive. So I did those pre-drilled holes already. So, so it won't split the wood. Okay. Now we're gonna start onto the second panel. We're gonna drill, leg bowl, glue, get everything into position. Uh, panels are put together so I'll just do the ends and then the main supports and we're good to go. Sweet. Hey Landon, we just gotta clean up the glue. Yeah. Yeah. We're Watch just, yourself. We're just cleaning the glue. Clean up the glue. glue. Yeah. To clean the glue. PL glue? Yep. Yeah. And we're gonna put new glue on. New glue on? Yeah. We're gonna get the rest of the supports put in. Adding the glue. Yeah. Because I'm using Daddy's pocket knife. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Thanks, son. You got it? Yeah, I'm getting it. You getting it? Glue out. Yep. Yeah. I'm getting the glue out because I don't know how time I get it out. Yeah. And all time, Daddy needs a help. Are you ready, son? Hey farm hands, so we got the stand pretty much built. What we have to do now is I'm gonna start adding the plywood, so that's gonna strengthen it up even more. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do the top, the back, and the two sides. The front I'm gonna leave for now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my good buddy, he's a millwork guy, and we're gonna do all the millwork on the front. We're gonna do all nice uh, cabinet doors, put a whole bunch of different molding on it. It's gonna look great, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add all the plywood for the back, the sides, and it's gonna give even more support. Everything went well together, everything's level, plumb, square. Everything's screwed, glued, bolted, anchored. Can't get better than that. So let's go ahead, let's start adding uh, all the plywood and then we'll take a look, see how things turned out. All right. All right, before I put the plywood, I just wanna show you. You see, so here's all the, the ends. So this is the four by four all notched and cut. So everything's uh, laid together and then everything's supported, glued, PL glued. So we ended up, we engineered this, a few of my friends that are engineers, we went through it, architect, and this is what we came up with to hold the weight. As you guys can see, everything's glued, it's good to go. So now we're just gonna add the plywood on the top, on the back, and on the side, so that'll even tie things together even more from shifting. And in the front here, we're gonna do all nice uh, millwork to match the stand, and then what we do with the canopy as well. So let's go ahead and so let's get this plywood on. So we're just going to screw some of the plywood around the perimeter and then we're going to take our level we're going to find all the, the joists and then we're going to screw across each one. So this way we, we screw across each one we'll get make these lines so we know where they are. Yeah, so I got the first sheet down. Uh, I just put the screws around the perimeter. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to find all my uh, 
all my joists, and then I'm gonna screw across there. So I mark them here. So I'm just gonna square these up so I know where they are. So this is where I can put my screws across where all my joists. I pre-marked them all. like that and I can square my level up with this line. So this is where I put all my screws down the center of the joists. I want to make sure this tank solid. Like that. So now we take our screws and we can start at this end. We can evenly space them. Just like that. Well, we got, all, we got the top all screwed down on it, so now I'm going to do uh, the back, and then we're going to do the two sides, and then I'm going to want to show you, pretty much we'll be done that, and then I'm going to show you uh, the LEDs that we're going to be running on this in the rail system. Um, with these rail systems, I want to mount on the back before I slide this tank into its uh, final destination. So let's end up finishing the sides, then I'll bring out those LEDs and show you, and then on uh, the next uh, upcoming episode, we're going to mount um, uh, all the all the AI uh, 52 HDs on here. It's going to be great, guys. So uh, let's finish this up. I'll bring out those products to show you guys, and then uh, we'll go on to the next episode. All right, so I got the back all on, so I'll give that extra support, as you guys can see there, so it'll help it keep it from twisting. So I just have to do the two ends and the other end, but I'll get those done, but I just want to... All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I got here. Um, so for the, for the LEDs I end up going with, I went with the Hydra 52 HDs, uh, these guys here. I end up getting the black ones. I'll show you guys. They're, they're a beautiful LED, and I run the 26s on my lab tank, so I've been seeing a lot of great growth, so that's why I'm, I picked to go with uh, the 52 HDs and the beautiful uh, black. So I end up getting those. So I got five of them. And then these are the, this is the kit, the rail kit here. It comes really well packaged. I'll show you guys. Look at that. Beautiful uh, aluminum, paint aluminum. And these get mounted on the back like this. And then this one here is the other rail. It attaches onto this rail here. It just slides on. But I get one for it. But I'll just show you. So it's like that. And then we mount these on the back. And then we mount the 52s over the top just like that. So on the next video, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mount all this hardware and the LEDs over the 700 Phoenix. So it's gonna be great, guys. So hopefully you guys uh, tune in same time, same place next week. We'll do another uh, video of uh, the Phoenix. We're gonna get the LEDs all mounted up. And then we're gonna place uh, the stand into its uh, final destination. As soon as get in there, make sure everything's all leveled up and good to go. Show you all the bracing and uh, supports I had to put in my basement to carry the load uh, of the Phoenix. And then after that, we're gonna get the glass, we're gonna build the tank all together, silicone it, all the supports we need, and then we're gonna drill it and do uh, the overflow on it as well. So it's all gonna come together, guys. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, and um, but it's gonna be a great build. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button.